Naruto, Ten Konoha Ninja worthy of joining the Akatsuki. The Akatsuki consists of some of the most powerful shinobi around, these Konoha Ninja are more than qualified to join the organization. The Akatsuki was a criminal organization in the Naruto world that was led by different leaders with different goals since their establishment by the Amage Cure Orphans. In the timeline that takes place during Naruto, the Akatsuki was led by Pain and then Abito Uchiha after his death. Their aim was to collect all the tailed beasts and for a task as big as that, the group acquired some of the strongest and smartest individuals from across the five nations. Only a handful of shinobi were qualified to join this group, but Kanahagakur had quite a few who were worthy of joining their ranks based on their power alone. 10. Shikamaru Nara is Konoha's genius ninja. Shikamaru is a member of Konoha's Nara clan and is blessed with an exceptionally high IQ. Although he's not physically as strong as the other ninja. His sharp mind makes up for most of his shortcomings and enables him to outmaneuver strong foes. A shinobi like Shikamaru Nara would certainly be a perfect fit for the Akatsuki since his mind would help them to create more efficient plans and make things much less complicated for the group. 9. Niji Hyuga was a master of the Byakugan powers. Niji was a member of the branch family of the Hyuga clan, yet his skills surpassed those of the main family members. Thanks to his incredibly high skills as a ninja. He managed to become a jonin before any of the members of Konoha 11. His taijutsu skills made him a threat to even the strongest of shinobi, and a single strike from his gentle fist style could prove to be deadly in combat. As a genius of the Byakugan, the Akatsuki would certainly want Niji on their side. 8. Ino Yamanaka is arguably the world's greatest sensor-type ninja. The successor of Inoichi Yamanaka, Ino is one of the greatest sensor-type ninja whose skills are only surpassed by those with the six paths senjutsu. Although she's not strong, she's an asset to Kanahagakur because of her ability to connect to anyone telepathically and run the defense of the entire village. Ino is an exceptional kunoichi. And if the Akatsuki had her on their side, they would be much more secure than ever. 7. Sakura Haruno would make a tremendous addition to the group. Sakura Haruno is easily one of the strongest known kunoichi in the entire world of Naruto. By the Fourth Great Ninja War, Sakura had surpassed Tsunade Senju as a ninja, which makes her an incredible asset to any team. The Akatsuki would certainly benefit from having a medical ninja as good as Sakura on their side. In addition to her superior healing abilities, Sakura would also prove to be a fantastic fighter for them when needed, which makes her incredibly versatile. 6. Orochimaru joined the Akatsuki long ago. Orochimaru belonged to the legendary San Nin and was one of the strongest ninja of the village at one point. After he fled Kanahagakur, he joined the Akatsuki for his own gains and spent quite some time with the group. After failing to acquire Itachi's Sharingan, he fled the group immediately. Orochimaru's strength was enough for him to become one of the members of the Akatsuki. 5. Rock Lee's raw strength would be welcomed in the Akatsuki. Although Lee has little to no talent as a shinobi, he remains to be one of the greatest taijutsu experts in the world thanks to his intense training with Guy. With the powers of the eight inner gates, Rock Lee could even take on Gara in battle. By the time of the fourth great ninja war, Lee could open at least six gates, which made him quite strong. Undoubtedly, a shinobi as capable as Lee would be welcomed in the Akatsuki. 4. Might Guy is one of Konoha's strongest. Might Guy ranks among the strongest jonin in Kanahagakur's history, all thanks to the relentless effort he put in to hone his taijutsu skills. With the power of the seventh gate, Guy could easily beat Kisame Hashigaki, a member of the Akatsuki. In the Fourth Great Ninja War, Guy was strong enough to fight and nearly kill Madara Uchiha in battle. 
who was in his ten tails, Jinchuriki state. Undoubtedly, Guy would be an amazing asset for the Akatsuki if he joined the group. 3. Kakashi Hitaki is a fairly balanced ninja. Known as the copy ninja, Kakashi Hitaki is one of the strongest ninja in the entire series and is famed across the five nations. He was a born genius and had already become a jonin by the age of 13. Which is a remarkable feat by the time of the Fourth Great Ninja War, Kakashi was strong enough to kill some members of the Akatsuki, who were all monsters in their own right. A ninja like him would be a key part of the Akatsuki's success. 2. Sasuke Uchiha is among the best of the best. Sasuke Uchiha was blessed with the power of the Sharingan and was destined for greatness. By training his mind and body, he managed to surpass most ninja in the story and eventually went on to attain six paths powers by the end of the fourth great ninja war. Sasuke is incredibly powerful, even more so than the actual Akatsuki members themselves, and having someone like him on their side would be quite reassuring. 1. Naruto Uzumaki is the strongest ninja in the story. Although Naruto got off to a rough start as a shinobi and was thought to be a ninja with limited skill, he showed dramatic growth as time went on. By the end of the series, Naruto becomes the strongest shinobi to ever live, surpassing even the likes of Hashirama Senju and Madara Achiha. He's the biggest asset that the shinobi world has against the likes of the Atsutsuki. And if he were to join the Akatsuki, he'd be their strongest member too. <laughs>